Hello everyone and welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today we have some new exciting stuff to show you. Um, this is the main line as it's known to most of the planet in Matchbox for 2021. Um, in this guise we call it the Power Grabs. Um, just purely different packaging but um, We'll get to all those reasons why in a second, but let's get on with this. Knock you over yet, out of harm's way. And um, a word on the boxing. Uh, this is how it appears in the shops, um, and the the filling staff, the shelf packers. Um, rip this front piece hair off and um, the box becomes its own display um, if you ask nicely and they have spare stock um, they will happily give you the whole box untouched um, and you just take the whole thing to the counter and pay for the whole 36 and everybody's happy but it saves them putting this into the bin or recycling whatever they do with it and if it's as in pristine condition as this one is it becomes part of your collection so uh, have a little look at the back and I'll pick you up so you can have a, a decent look you can freeze frame that if you so wish now we can get on so it's uh, 10 a.m. Christmas Eve here while I'm filming this and it's 41 degrees outside which is 106 in Fahrenheit so there's no place I would rather be <laughs> than in the icy cold air conditioning talking to you so we'll prop this up I think so you can have a look as we go can you see? maybe not maybe that's a dumb idea alright let's go for plan A Uh, go back a bit. There you go. All right. And I have unboxed the big box before this in preparation, so the two boring ones can come out first, and we'll unbox those and not talk too much about them because there are 36 in this box, meaning there are some doubles, but I can't ramble on for three hours. We we'll both get tired of that. I just want to show you what's going on with yeah. the problem with uh, these and I just destroy the boxes as I go because I have doubles of the good ones and I don't oh that's weird look at that I've changed for a very rattly very noisy clear plastic to a strange piece of tissue that's very strange um, that, as you may or may not know, is the self-driving bus. It's the third one now. It's gone blue to green to this colour. So I'll put him over there. Uh, I think we'll just throw the boxes on the armchair so they don't make too much clatter as they go down. And this is the chow, chow truck, chow wagon. Yeah, look at that. I think I'll bring you here in front of me so I can see what you're seeing. I get lost in the moment and, and forget to make sure you're getting a good view. So, so yeah, this is the latest. Oh, I think I have this, um, this color scheme already. This came out in um, either a five pack or a nine pack in exactly the same um, but I, I don't have that one in my tray to go with his buddies so put that like that briefly oh and we have this one from 2019 so there's lots and lots of that one but let's be honest we're not here to see the chow wagon we're here to see, I'll bring out two at a time, 
So there's a bit of eye candy in the background. And so this one is this year's version, uh, next year's version, 2021's version of the 1968 Dodge D200. Yeah, they're all with this strange packet. It's new on me. So there's that one, and I haven't got a lot in the way of backup cars. I thought I had one of these because as soon as we got the last missing car of this box I basically made sure the camera was charged up plonked it on play and ran with it so I can show you a Saperano so that's looking sweet in its light blueness there's a black one there's a super fast version also black and a dark grey one so that's looking nice and the lovely 2003 Nissan 350Z. Um, I'll say we were waiting for the last one to come of this box. Um, and I'll get to the model it is in a second, but the sheer frustration of going to shop after shop and uh, it not being there. Uh, that went on for a couple of weeks here and um, yeah finally got it this morning so this is the Nissan with blacked out windows this time quite a bit of painted on uh, detail the gold meets the pearly white Nothing on the headlights or license plate in the front, but the door trim and a little Z badge on the fenders. That's also a indicator lamp in real life. Not in this small, that would be impossible. The fuel cap silver, nice rims, looking good. He's earned my approval. And next two. The 1956 Jaguar XK140 Roadster, complete with the uh, Jaguar logo on the corner. Was I in the middle of a story before I interrupted myself? I can't remember. Oh, sweet. And we have some of these um, in previous power grabs. So we might as well go with that. So this being the right now version, and this one was uh, 2018, so 2019 release. Um, I'm trying to think what colour it was for 2020. Is it that one? I'm sure I have that loose somewhere, but yeah, this is 2019. So we'll go back a year to make him feel welcome. And the year before. Yeah, this is the, the very noisy plastic. It was, uh, I'll just make some noise. This one deserves the turntable, I think. Looking very nice.
And on to the fire chief car now. It's, it's, they're still calling it the police interceptor, but gone all fire chief on it. Oh yeah. And I took away all my police cars uh, out of my tray. I had a whole bunch of them. But they get a lot of airtime, my police cars, as you'll be aware if you watch my channel often enough. Every chance I get, I put on a police car. <laughs> that looks kind of sweet. Nice to have a completely different colour. Yeah, that's nice. I suppose if they're going to change uh, the box to say Fire Chief, they would also have to change the the chassis casting to say Fire, but they haven't, so that's okay. We know what they mean. That's nice. I wouldn't mind getting that on mass as well. So I'll pop him over there. Mr. Jaguar can go next to him. And on to the next two. Turn the turntable off. There's enough whirring noises in this room now with the lighting and now the air conditioning because of the heat outside. Uh, I won't tease you too much. I'll just take them out as I've put them back in this box. This is the 1971 Porsche 914. Look, look, see. Oh wow. Wow. That is super cute. And the one I got from that um, big haul of the, all the plastic tubs, I did the videos on a while back. Are they the same? It's different. Just trying to work out if it's the same casting or just a different level of detail. Yeah, it's the same casting, I think. Good stuff. Oh, magic. Yeah, they've gone a bit uh, cheap on the on the back there. They look great. I feel like I need to get everything in this casting that they've, they've put out. I'm sure it will happen. That's nice. So I'll put the support car over there. And this baby, the 1959 Dodge Coronet police car. But again, it's is it police if they're in a national park livery? I don't know. Not sure much happens in a national park that requires its own police force. Wow. Oh yeah. Um, I've noticed the Americans have a police force for a lot of things that nobody else does, like uh, the transit police in uh, New York City is bigger than a lot of cities' police forces around the world. It's huge. Um, and they call themselves the Transit Police. That's really nice. It's really nice. Very familiar green now. Um, lost count how many national parks vehicles are out now, but it's quite a lot. Um, the ones I found to go along with this today is the Garbage King and 
the International Bushfire Truck, which would seem more at home in a national park than a police car, but still happy with that. And the little bobcat looking drill digger, and many, many others around the place. But there are three for today. Okay, we're back. Sorry about the interruption. I cut my uh, finger yesterday morning um, on a new knife and uh, I should have got a grown up to to put it away. But being in Australia, I want to say I was walking my pet kangaroo and I got attacked by a crocodile, but that would be telling a fib. Right. Should we, should we? I think we'll do the golf first. I don't want to tease you. 1976 Volkswagen Golf, Mark 1. Sweet. Yeah, I was so excited opening the last couple of boxes. I've used my index finger with a little cut on it and uh, opened it up. But... Oh, yeah. Pleatze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks great. Could be all close up of that. Surprising amount of detail on that front grille. Oh, that's lovely. It's really nice. Window wiper on the back. Nice uh, touch with the Review mirrors. I've gone for the plain but very classic wheels. Made in Thailand. Wow, that's really nice. I don't think I have anything to compare that with. It's a new casting. Um, I mean, I've got every other golf going, but uh, I think I'll just leave that alone. It's that's sweet. Very pretty. I'd like to get quite a few of those. Really nice. Okay, on with the show. And I knew they were bringing this out. Um, the shiny red uh, 1948 Willys Jeep. Because um, I don't know where I saw it now. Um, Somebody was previewing it, um, but I got the very dull red one out of the Mission 4 set, um, and this is going to look very special next to it, along with the uh, gloss blue one. No, I don't have that here. It doesn't matter. This one stands alone. That's really nice. They've really done a good job on that colour. Clearly not military, you'd see this a mile off, but um, wow, beautiful paint job. Black red, flash of white on the wheels, bit of detail with the, the shovel. Yeah, that's good. That'll go well with the other colours. Terrific. The next two. Talk about you later, young man. But uh, for now, the 2018 Dodge Charger in what looks like a very lovely sheen of grey. Tripping out about this uh, paperwork, this paper rather than the plastic. It's much quieter. Oh, that's not a, a silver sheen. That's like a primer grey. They did this um, with the Top Gun Dodge Charger, didn't they? Oh, that's looking very mean. That's nice. Oh, I do like that. I wonder if it's the same Primer Grey as the Charger. I'll have to see in the fullness of time. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I've got one from... Twenty eighteen 
so this is 2019. I think it was blue last year. A really nice blue. Do I have? I don't have. No, never mind. We'll get open this one. Yeah, it's the, the plastic. I'll do it slightly away from your tender ears. Oh yeah. So they've blacked out the rims. The blue one, if he was here somewhere, would look fantastic next to it. But I did a bit of a tidy up, and you should never do a tidy up. You never find anything again. But that's looking very nice. Roughly the same, it is the same amount of detail. But they look great. Really good. But apart from the um, self driving bus and the chow wagon, which I've never been a fan of. Um, oh, get those other versions out of the way. Um, yeah, this box is just full of really nice stuff. Now this is the sneaky little bugger that has been eluding us for weeks. Um, and this video would have taken place at least a fortnight, maybe three weeks ago, had we found this. My wife does a lot of league work for this uh, channel. I drive all around the city looking for cool stuff to show you. But this one was hiding until this morning. This, and I just threw the box away. Here we go. This is the 1962 Plymouth Savoy, brand new casting, and just look at it. It reminds me of a Valiant, um, Chrysler Valiant um, in Australia. Uh, did something like this in the mid and late 70s. Oh, that looks so mean. That looks like the car, the kind of car you'd get abducted in. You'd be walking along the street and somebody would slow drive behind you until they completely freaked you out and you started running. And then they would go ahead and shove you in the boot. This is a mean looking ride. I've gone for the classic wheels, it suits, it looks hot. I'm very happy with that car. Um, we were so annoyed with not getting it that we had the feeling that we'd buy every single one that you could get your hands on once we did. But in keeping with things we learn on the, uh, on the road, and in this case from the uh, man himself, diecast dude, when we peg hunt and we find something that is rare and sought after, we get what we need and we leave the rest. And if everybody did that, there would be a lot more happiness in the world. So there were many of these on the shelf and uh, we left all but two of them. So I have one to unbox to show you. I wanted to leave in the box to keep, but all the rest stayed for the next happy customer. And uh, big shout out to Diecast Dude for pushing that line, pushing that ethos. And uh, I think we should all uh, go along with that because, as I say, it'd be there'd be a lot more happiness in the world if everybody behaved like Diecast Dude. So. Onwards and upwards, we'll go for this one here, 1916 Ram flatbed. And this came out in green, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, um, but this is the 2021. Yeah, that looks good. Cargo couriers, um, I think I have a little van with that uh, company logo on it. It's a funny little van. I might, might be wrong, but I think this is the next one. It's definitely very close to that blue, but that's looking pretty good. Remember to put my old person glasses on before I hit record today. 
Yeah, that's nice. Very good. And uh, didn't we just look at... Oh, this is a double. Oh, okay. Yes, of course, because there's 36 in this box. Um, so we are going to get some doubles. Well, that's okay. So we have another Porsche. And another D200. And another policeman to arrest the trees. Ah, Bugatti. Bugatti. So put those in a big old stack there. So this is the 2018 Bugatti Devo. It's been a lot of talk about this one. Um, this is the first time I've had one out of the box. Gee, it's very wide. It's very wide. I suppose they are in real life too. But, uh, the first time I ever saw a Bugatti was in Paris of all places. I suppose it's fitting, but I say of all places because of the fact that I still can't believe I've been to Paris. And we're sitting at a, a little bakery um, and uh, just on the table and chairs outside watching the world go by, as you do. And one of these rocked up. It wasn't a Devo, it was um, a Valeron, Valeron in the classic blue and grey accent and it pulled up and I was just flabbergasted to see one and it stopped long enough to let a, a supermodel looking girl in <laughs> and off it sort of warbled very slowly on the cobblestones but uh, it just made my day to see one in the flesh but here is one in the plastic and it looks very nice very nice it's a lot of air foil stuff going on. I'd um, bet my house on never being able to afford one in real life. But I have one in miniature and that's okay. So I put him over there. Um, and these look like they're all doubles. Can you see? Yeah, they're all doubles, but we'll get them out anyway. Put the box to the side. Over there. So yeah, I'll be very careful with this box. It's part of the collection now. Place him, not throw him. So that my good friends, is the first peekaboo I've had at least um, of the 2021 lineup in the main line. Uh, if they don't head your way in these boxes, they will definitely head your way in the long, sh long and short card. But uh, yeah, nice to see some fresh stuff. And what a lineup! Come on. In my mind, there are two. Mm, and all the rest are just outstanders. They're just... Wow. Love it. Right, I'll clip these two videos together. The first one with the good finger and the second one with the slightly sore finger. <laughs> Thanks to that horrific crocodile attack while I was walking my pet kangaroo. <laughs> and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the like button and really leave a comment tell me what you think i'll be glad to read them and respond okay bye for now